Hey, what's up guys? It's Tito here with Aloha Android and we're going to be taking a look at the LG Vault, the original. Um, I flashed a new ROM on this device. So I decided to basically activate it and use it since I've been using smart like smartphones, not smartphones, but phablets for a while. Uh, I wanted to go back to a basic smartphone, something smaller size, 4.7 inch display, it's kind of really nice. Um, as you guys can see here, it's still running 4.4.2 KitKat. So I haven't bumped it up to Lollipop as most of the Lollipop ROMs, in my opinion, while they are good, they tend to lack as far as signal when it comes to LTE. There's just some roughness with the LTE and I'd, I'd love my LTE to work properly. So some of the things that um, I wanted to show you with the ZV6 de-bloated um, basic custom ROM is its new look and feel. And as you guys can see with like the drop down, they've kind of taken things from the G2, um, kind of like the G2 or G3 and just added it into the vault. So that makes for something nice. Q slide still works, so you can still use that feature. Uh, it's quite nice. Uh, dialer is still pretty much the same. So like a lot of the apps are still pretty much the same. It's just they de-bloated a lot of junk that you really don't need. Um, also, uh, themed the icons a little bit differently so like you guys saw camera looks completely different than the stock uh, camera icon it is much smoother I can tell you guys that much right now um, battery life is still pretty much the same uh, so I can get roughly about 22 maybe 23 hours at best um, here you guys can see the widgets um, nothing's really changed except that it did add a couple new widgets there is one for like a reboot and um, so that helps if you guys want to just like reboot your device straight from your home screen you just tap that reboot widget and your phone will just reboot so a um, couple things you will see and you know the transitioning quite similar uh, one thing I did notice is uh, the, um, the weather widget with the time looks really nice it's transparent has a little bit of uh, the effect of what's happening in your weather that day so here we're cloudy so it shows clouds and I do like the notification, how it's themed um, differently than what it used to. The original one was just pretty ugly, in my opinion. The stock um, notification dropdown was pretty ugly back then. So uh, this is looking to be a lot better. And uh, I gotta say, you know, it's refreshing to use a regular smartphone. Um, sometimes, you know, we get caught up with uh, bigger screens. And uh, well, though, while it does help visually help you out, Sometimes uh, it's just great, you know, so you don't stress your hands out to kind of use a smartphone, something that won't um, cramp, cramp your fingers or anything like that. Uh, another cool feature that really stands out for me is that it has a dual window mode, which I believe the stock Vault um, ROM does not have this. So you actually can run um, like the internet and, you know, you can run, say, Chrome, uh, two different web browsers at the same time. Uh, this is something that's pretty unique. I mean, it's on a 4.7 inch display, so it's kind of weird that they incorporated this into the custom ROM. Nevertheless, it's quite useful, in my opinion. So, there you have it. My quick little return to the LG Vault. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, please do so by clicking that subscribe button. Um, I'll try to post a link where you guys can download this ROM if you are rooted and you have custom recovery. Then you can uh, flash this ROM. So again, my name is Tito with Loa Android, and thank you for watching.